In today's video, I am breaking down how do you manifest the things that you want to in your life, even when they seem impossible given the current circumstances. I know it's not always smooth sailing on the way to your manifestation. So in today's video, I'm breaking down for you the exact mindset you need to have to make the impossible possible for you in your life. Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about everything having to do with mindset, manifesting, and the law of attraction. If you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'd love to help you manifest your dreams. All the information is down in the description below. The way we tend to think about our desires is we tend to break things down into two categories. In the first category, we have those things which we think is possible for us in our lives. Those things that we think are easy to attain, easy to achieve. And then on the other hand, we have those things which we think are impossible for us in our life. But actually, this impossible possible category is an illusion. It's not really a real thing. It's completely relative based on every individual. And the first big mental shift that has to occur if you want to start manifesting things that in this current moment look impossible to you is that we're gonna to have to start moving things from this impossible category all the way over here in into the possible category. And I'm gonna to explain to you how we need to think about it to get that done. Now, why so many people don't wanna even attempt to try and get things from the impossible category in their life and they just stick to what they already think is possible is because people don't wanna spend their time and energy on things that are seemingly impossible. It would seem like a waste of time. So actually it's a great way to conserve energy is to try to go for the things that you already know is possible, but that definitely won't change your life in any way. So then guys, how can you know if something is actually truly impossible or if it's worth your effort? There are no rules as to what is possible or impossible. There is only what we think we know right now as a society. There is only one person's individual experience. And even everything that I share in this channel is from my own tests, my own trials to push this boundary in my own life. And I can only really tell you as far as I personally push my own limitations, but for you, the limitations are really going to be whatever you impose on your own self, whatever you try and break the barrier of in your own life. That being said, what I really want to show you guys today is that the things that you are thinking are impossible for you right now in your life are probably very far away from being actually impossible. So let's play a little game. I want you guys now to close your eyes and I want you to go into your imagination and I want you to imagine your desire. I want you to imagine your manifestation fully fulfilled right now. Can you imagine it? Can you see it there? Can you see the end goal and the end result that you're aiming for? Good. Now I want you to ask yourself the following questions. Isn't it true that at this very moment, there is someone out there in the world, no better and no worse than you, that already has the thing that you are trying to manifest. And isn't it also true on the flip side that there are people out there right now who are also no better and no worse than you are, who would love to have manifested some of the things that you have in your life right now. All right, guys, you can open your eyes. So do you understand the message I'm trying to convey here? is that impossible is a very relative concept. And if you can imagine somebody else out there already having and enjoying the things that you are trying to manifest into this life, then what is really the block to you imagining yourself having that thing? The point I'm trying to make is that you thinking you can't get the thing that you want, you even thinking that it's impossible for you to get the thing that you want, while simultaneously believing that there are tons of people out there who already have that which you want, Tons of people who are no better and no worse than you are. Can you see how that actually does not equate? It doesn't really make sense to hold both of those ideas in your mind. Can you see then why the idea of impossible is actually quite relative and what is it relative to? Yes, that's right. You guessed it. It's relative to your concept of self. It's relative to who you think you are in this situation. That's why every single person will put their barrier of what they think is possible and impossible for them in their lives at completely different places. 
I want to give you the example of Roger Bannister, the first man to break the world record for running a mile in under four minutes. You see, up until 1954, no human had broken that record. And actually, they called it the impossible barrier. They thought that it would be physically and humanly impossible to break that threshold. Now, here's the best part of the story. Not only did Roger Bannister break the possible impossible barrier, which means that he had to have first broken that barrier in his own mind because the entire world was telling him otherwise. But he also did it without following any of the conventional training methods for running. And he actually also created his own techniques and methods to be able to break that barrier. Not long after that, multiple people broke that barrier. And until today, more than a thousand people have actually broken that barrier. Now, is it that genetically we changed so much as humans in the last 60 plus years? Obviously not, that's not the case. It's that once one person demonstrates that a barrier can be broken, that it is not impossible, then other people start to believe it and they can break that barrier too. So I want you guys to be more like Roger. I want you guys to start breaking the barrier in your own mind first not looking around at what the media tells you, not looking around at what other people tell you. I want you to go inside yourself and start to determine and start to decide and start to realize where are you placing things in the impossible category. And I want you to start thinking of ways that you can start shifting it into the possible category for you in your life. Remember guys, whatever you're seeing in your 3D world right now is just an accumulation of your past thoughts and your past beliefs. All of that is who you used to be not who you are right now. So all of that has nothing to do with what you can create. It has nothing to do with what is possible for you in your life. Now, whenever I'm thinking of this topic, I always find it so funny because not even one of my clients over the years has asked me to do something that would maybe be in the realm of impossibility. For example, no one's ever asked me if they can turn all the trees pink instead of green. Nobody's ever asked me if they can turn the sun into the moon. Okay, I don't know if those things are possible or not. It's not really what I spend my time and focus on, but 99% of things that people ask me are, can they have a great, loving, fulfilling relationship? Can they be rich? Can they make much more money than they're making now? Can they have the job of their dreams? Can they have the life of their dreams? Can they have their dream body? Can they have their dream lifestyle? Okay, none of this is even close to the realm of impossible. And I want you to ask yourself right now, guys, if you're thinking that any of these things in any of these categories are impossible, what is that saying about how you think about yourself? What is that saying about how you view yourself? And that brings me to reason 544 as to why self-concept is the most important thing to work on. You are viewing this entire world through that lens. You are viewing what you're putting into the possible and impossible category through the lens of who you think you are. All right, guys, so here's the trick for how you can move things from this impossible category to the possible category so you can start manifesting great things into your life. Now let's break it down with numbers so it's super easy to understand. You see, impossible is like zero. So if you put any kind of energy behind a belief that falls into the impossible category, that's like you're trying to multiply zero. So it doesn't matter how much force you put into zero. It doesn't matter if you try to multiply zero by one, zero by two, zero by a thousand. The answer is always going to be zero. The answer is always going to be impossible. So the key here, guys, for moving impossible to possible is not to make this big leap. It's actually just to make even the smallest shift in the boundary. Once you can see that the boundary can move even an inch, well, now you know it's movable and now you know it's possible. It's like you're taking the zero and you've now turned it into a one. And while zero and one can seem like that's not much of a difference, actually they are worlds apart. Now, while zero can be multiplied by five and the answer will still be zero, one can be multiplied by five and now the answer is five. And if it's multiplied by 500, the answer is 500, right? So in the possible category, we can have exponential results in the direction of our goal, whereas in the impossible category, it's always gonna remain zero. So all you gotta do, guys, is take the idea that you have in your mind, the belief that you have in your mind, move it from the impossible category, slowly move it into the possible category, and then put your energy behind it. That's the multiplier. Put your intention behind it, your energy behind it, your belief behind it, your action behind it, and you will definitely see massive results 
come to fruition within your life. In this next video, I explain another must know concept to help you manifest much faster. Definitely going to want to check it out right here. Thanks so much for subscribing and hitting the bell. I make each video with love and I will see you guys in the next video.